the um, dance will be Paso Doble and the subject will be um, how to maintain the correct uh, body position in a, in a walk in Paso Doble for a slight difference from man and woman and I will go into the, the details about the uh, twist turn. And please welcome the former world champion from Norway. I learned his name is Geir Backe. <laughs> Nearly. So I'm not perfect in Norwegian. Yes, it is on. Okay, good morning, everybody. Nice to see, uh, well, to be at this time in the morning. It's uh, quite an impressive number. I want to talk this morning about uh, Paso Doble. Some of you might know this information or have heard it before. Um, a lot of you know it, but you don't dance it. Most couples, Paso Doble choreography today is so fast, so you don't even have time for interpretation. It's just about moving from A to B. It's very few couples that dare to be different, dare to be slow, or manage to create space or time, even if something is fast. To make, and that's the key. If you're a top couple, try to look some, make something look easy. Make, make it look like you have all the time in the world. Now, just, I'm going to just do the twist turn today. But before I'm going to get to the twist turn, which a lot of men have in the twist turn, great problems or not a great understanding how to lead. Obviously, in a lecture, it's a bit difficult to explain in detail how to lead, so we're going to do that in the group class after. Um, but before, before we get to that, how do we walk? Because I see a lot of men, especially, that doesn't look like what I expect from a male dancer when I dance Paso Doble. It looks very unisex sometimes. I don't mind that a lady in Paso Doble walks with a slight release of the hip. As long as it's done with a muscular control. But when I see men going, transferring their weight too fast, and because they are too far forward already, <laughs> it looks like they're coming on from a salsa club at uh, five o'clock in the morning. Um, so when, you, when I push off from one leg, do the first, you should stay longer time on the standing leg and keep the pelvis forward. Now, if the lady, when the leg is passing, want to pass like rumba, okay, this way, that's fine, which then allow a slight release in the hip. It looks kind of funny for a man. The man in this position, I would like to keep in this position. I should. I tried this t I actually this was for uh, Asis, the t-shirt. I tried, I tried this uh, t-shirt with my wife and it doesn't work. She still don't listen to me. And Asis and my wife is the same star sign, they're both Aries, they are... It's difficult to change their mind about something. So back to the walk. Now, in this position, for the man, when I'm here, if I'm doing put my pelvis forward, my legs will turn out slightly. And I try then, when I'm in this position, to walk like that, even when the leg is passing. I do not do like the lady. I wouldn't advise the lady to walk like this. I'm gonna look like two men, yes? But the man, especially, when you transfer, from, transfer your weight from one foot to another, Keep this position, keep the muscle tension, gradual weight transfer, place the foot and roll, stay longer on the standing foot. Do not get onto the front of the foot because then you release the hip back. 
boom. So here I'm still towards the heel of this foot when I release the leg. So I place it and I roll on. So I keep this position. I do not go, which a lot of men um, do. Now, I didn't have a victim today because I don't really, because the lesson plan was changed uh, yesterday afternoon. So um, I asked, she has not disappeared. She's the shyest person in the room. Uh, may I use you, Kina? I know you hate this, but uh, I just need somebody to hold, uh, hold on to. Miss Kina from Norway, give her an applause. <laughs> Kina, I need somebody to make me look good, you understand? Some uh, beautiful blonde Norwegian doesn't make me look too bad. Now, so if we start from about one, a little bit less done, and <laughs> one. So if we gradual, so she keeps the, also the hip forward, one. Now, as the foot is passing, she will pass like Ramba. And I, two, and again, and I, I keep this constantly forward. Okay, I am not, I am, like also a lot of men do. I mean, you have a lot of ballroom dancers here now. A lot of guys doing this, one. By the time they come to the second step, this is happening. Because they want to make a big shape on this side, big line. And this look totally wrong. This is no good in standard, no good in Latin. And what a lot of you forget is that, I have to be very careful now. <clears throat> Um, that you are being judged by 50% of, at least, sometimes even more, of the judges you're being judged by are standard judges or standard teachers that maybe have taken their exams many years ago in Latin and they don't know the fine little details how to do things, but they are very aware of shape. So if they see something like this, it's like a red light coming on. And it's obviously easier, if you dance 10 dance, to have this understanding. Much, e much easier to teach a couple to do 10 dance, even a Latin, talented, South European, Spanish, Italian, with the right feeling. It's made me more difficult to, to get, to, because it feels stiff suddenly. You feel you can't dance. But this is important, yes, from here. I am all the time, even if I turn this side, I am aware, I'm more aware of the space I create between us. Okay? Now, let's get to the, uh, that was about a little bit of a walk. One, two, three. You see, she's always standing back. A lot of girls, because there's a lot of strong girls, that will do, and you do what everybody does, normally just take off, this becomes a competition between the two of us, one, two, three. Now, same thing like promenade run in, in, uh, in the samba. If I'm not here, I can't continue. It's gonna be pretty difficult because I have to change direction. I have to be in this position. So if the girls can know their place, I'm on the first row, your seat is on the second row. So, this is the position. Now, first big mistake for the men, huge mistake is this. What is this step so, so supposed to be? 80% of men at least dance like this. Not, you don't have to answer. Now, I'll tell you. Now, the lady goes straight forward. I go forward, diagonally forward, across the lady's line, and I do a f start to do a forward walk turning. I do not turn parallel to her with my feet. I go in from here, same weight transfer again. I stay longer on my right foot. 
I do not get onto my left foot. So from here, I still have pressure in my right, on my right foot. Halfway through it, I start to take my weight in the direction of the next step. And I continue to turn my upper body. But my shoulder line and my hip line is not the same. And a lot of you are di like this. Shoulders above the hip, and you do this. Okay, so back to where we started here. I do, I cross the ladies line. I start to turn halfway through it. I stop, I start to take my weight back. And then we can talk about the direction of that after. Okay? Boom. And then we continue from there. Now, a lot of you are using if longer time. You arrive like this and you use two or three beats to make the position. So let's do one, two, three, four. Normal timing would be that I go straight away on five, yes? But if we do now four, five, six, seven. Now, in this position, most men would do this. You have to first place the lady. If the lady is towards the front of her foot or to, well, central balanced on this, I have to place the leg lady back into my arm. It's not about me going back, because then she's going to fall on top of me. See if I'm here? I have to place the lady, and then I can move myself. If I only move myself, the lady will fall on top of me. So, sorry, three. Forward walk turning, start to turn from the right leg. This arm goes forward, up, the pressure is towards the lady. Okay, now I place the lady back into my right arm. I am doing that, the lady not. Now, during this four, five, six, seven, which direction should the man's weight go? Now, the first lecture yesterday talked about uh, 3D. I didn't follow the lecture, I just uh, heard the videos all the beginning of it because I had to go and teach. But, do it this way now. If I'm in this position, a lot of men are thinking back. If you could think, back but diagonally that way to pull away from the lady. So I place the lady back into my hand, but I am going diagonally back this direction. By doing that, if she is placing now her foot in a, in a delayed walk forward when I cross, stay. Just bring the leg forward. Bring the leg forward. Thank you. Okay, no, she hasn't gone yet. Zoom. So, we are in this position. I will go, she will stay. Place the foot. Thank you. Okay, so I go before her. Normally, a lot of you go at this, try to move the lady at the same time. I go first. The lady will follow. So you see the, 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 the Position from here, I'm going this way. I'm not going back. Going back diagonally. Right. Is that clear? So, please do not do this. Ta, ta, boom, da, da, because we don't have any. It's like we're dancing on the same piece of, of floor. And we have then great difficulty. I can probably fix it if I'm going this way. I go back on myself. That would be the only way I could 
create a shape, a big shape. So, forward walk turning. I place I, place the lady. I start then to drift that direction. I will go, she will place the leg forward. Now, this, like I said, is difficult to explain in a lecture. The, the pressure is still towards each other. It's not a pull, it's a push. Now, a lot of men just this. That means they've never done standard before, yeah? Okay, so you should be able to, at this point, this closing and this go forward, this brushing, as this is coming down. Now, you have probably been explained many times that when you lead, there is a stop and you lead the lady. There is no stop. Okay, so probably you have teachers that explain this uh, to make you understand what's really happening. That the lady does this and the man is leading the lady. Now, I had two diff different teachers in the past with totally different opinions about this. One said, but I'm not sure if he meant it, that you stop, you connect, and you lead the lady. And the other one said, the lady just goes. So the lady from here, she pushes herself back and she just go herself. Now, if you combine the two, if the man, man is fast enough, he should accompany the lady. Accompany and push is two different things. I mean, if you have a meet, it's not too many people doing this anymore. But um, if you meet an old lady by the traffic light, okay, you accompany her across the road. You don't push her. Now, so in this position here, she, Kine will push out, push, go, go. Yeah. Boom. So, and I will accompany her. This arm goes immediately across body. I don't wait, it's not a stop and start. Now, I was a bit unfair because Keenan and Petter doesn't even dance this step in their routine. So, um, but they should know. So it's a test today. Da, boom. Like I said, this arm is now from this point, how many men is doing this? Girls, how many of you have partners that does this? Now, the lady is gonna go that way. She's not gonna go, this is, I'm pushing an arm. So when I come around in this position, I am continue to bring this across body. This position. Now, when the technique books was written, talking about the old technique books, it was a social dance technique book. Even if Walter Laird's book, which was one of my teachers, uh, was a little bit more advanced than the others. But he still said it's not, it's impossible to write every little detail in a technique book. So if you look at the step, when the lady go back, a lot of you are still doing this. You take, I'm going to do it. The lady does this. Big step back, close and heel turn. This is only possible if I had gone at the same time as the lady. If I'm trying to delay it like we dance today, small step, okay. I would like Kina to do this. Not this step here. When I lead, we like think about the shape. 
The leg is arriving just under the body. So you create a bigger shape. Okay? Now, from this position, if I do this, I'm trying not to destroy your makeup, not here yet. And so we create this shape. If Kine goes back, I, and I stay, there's no way in, with music that I'm gonna get past her. So this step has to be smaller than what is written in the technique book, and also the direction of it. Think more about the shape. From here, it goes across body, the lead to her, and she opens. Now she will close her feet. Close, just turn. At this point, or going there, she will, I will feel a pull and I will come forward. So from this position, go, just go. Go, I will go. Be a bit more extreme, more. This position, sorry. <laughs> okay, girls, you have to continue. You do two steps, two steps. One, two, just turn, turn. And I will feel this, and then I will move. Now, when the lady is doing this step, so I was, like I said, immediately bringing this across body. When I feel the pull, I will not bring my upper body forward. I will go, if this was in slow motion, from underneath, so I will push off from this foot, and now, not do this again, because it's the same as a walk from the beginning. This is forward, and gradually up to the same position I was in from the beginning. So, in this position here, just close your feet, close. If, okay, I will go forward and come up in the same position. So, <clears throat> sorry, Gina. One, she'll close, I'll start to move, and I move from my right leg to my left, I go forward gradually, and I come up, and I will play, the lady will stay central with her weight. And we start the second one. The points again. From the walk, guys, you keep this open. Clear? Ladies, pass like you do in the rumba. If you release the hip, it's not like that. But with a muscular control. Now, the third thing we talked about was this. Forward, diagonally. Moving from my right foot, stay longer on the right foot. Don't turn parallel to the lady. Stop diagonally this way, continue to turn the upper body to the lady. Place the lady back. Place the lady back and then I'll move. Now, if I did this slowly, from here now. This hand is going continuously down to my hip and continue in the direction of the lady. And I do not continue. I stay. She closes. Well, probably at that point, I will feel the pull a little bit earlier, and I will go forward from a much lower position. Keep my hip line forward. Gradually go up and arrive in the same position we started. Now, if you danced normal timing, so one, two, three, four, five. I don't have time at this point to place the lady. I see a lot, lot of men trying to do this still, two, three, four, and it becomes very physical. So as we don't do freestyle, uh, the lady are aware of their timing, or should be aware of the timing. We don't, this is not like dancing with the stars, that we're dancing with some 
fat cow that's an actress has never danced before. So if we dance two, three, the lady at this point, when she transfers the weight onto four, has to know exactly where the weight should be. If I have, so the weight at this case should be much further back than if I have five, six, seven, for example, to make the position. She has to place herself exactly. I can assist her slightly at this point when I can stop, I can stop her in this position. But it shouldn't be like she wants to go forward and I push her back. She should stop part weight at this point. A lot of ladies have very strong feet. Um, it might be possible to stand on point and still have pressure. Uh, most in the beginning, I wouldn't advise it because you're going to kill your feet. And people that don't haven't got that strength yet, so I would stop in this position with the pressure on the inside edge of ball of foot. Don't try, don't try to be here because you're going to suffer later in life when you uh, don't know what this is called when these things come out on the side and you've got to <laughs> cut them off that a lot of ladies have problems with. Okay, thank you very much. I hope to see you upstairs a little bit later. Thank you to uh, Kina. Thanks for helping me. Thank and you. Uh, have another, oh, have a nice day everybody and tomorrow. Thank you very yes. much, Kiyabake, Thank you for this lecture. Thank you.